Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we are going to be inspired by Dilusions and making a cutout page in our black um, dialogue. So this is a small traveller notebook sized um, art journal which I've been using and I have been inspired very much by um, Denise Lush. So I'll leave her contact, uh, her details for her Instagram and so on and her YouTube channel in the description box below so check her out. But she's been doing a lot of these pages and um, it's a style I really love but I've never really sort of explored it on black before. Now this is actually a second lot of pages that I've done. I'll show you the first lot of pages um, at the end of this video. But it's basically just using lots of different shapes cut out of two pages so they sort of overlap and create this grid effect. Now because I didn't have a square uh, stencil, I drew up a bit of a grid in my book with a pencil, which is you don't very often see me using a pencil, and um, cut out my squares. Because I'm really lazy, I then didn't want to draw out another grid again so I just used the cutout pieces because I knew they were the right size to cut out my squares again. So I'm just using a little um, the new Dilusions cutting board. Obviously use anything, usually I use a little um, kitchen uh, chopping board and I <laughs> an Ikea chopping board, it's really thin ones. I've chopped one of those in half and use that as my little cutting mat if I'm using it in my journals, but this one's quite good. It's designed for this size book. So you can sort of see as they open and close how they come together as a grid part. So this is the bit that I was actually really enjoying and it took a little while to do, um, which is why this is very, very spat, sped up journal. But um, it was just doodling around the outside of this with a white pen. So I just had fun playing around with different shapes and sizes. You'll notice I didn't actually rub out the pencil. Um, it kind of blended in the background. It really didn't bother me. Obviously you could take the time to do that. Now with these little doodly bits that I'm doing, I um, was inspired by Denise as I said uh, but if you're not sure how to doodle which sounds a bit silly but some people get really sort of hung up that they're not 100% sure how to do it or they don't like what they've done check out Z tangling on the internet and you'll get lots of really cool patterns but the cheat thing is here you can see I'm going faster because once I'd done the patterns once I just repeated them I knew I had the same amount of squares I moved where I was doing them so I did some smaller and some bigger you can see me going back and just having a check to see what can I do next um just to add some detail and even just doing you know really simple double lines on a square will add a cool effect to it so this is something that you can sort of have cut out and then sit in front of the TV and do. I know with the first, uh, the circles pages that you'll see at the end, um, that's what I did. I cut them out. Um, I didn't cut them out in front of the TV, I have to say, but I took my pen and my book because it's just a really nice size, sat down and watched a movie and I was busy doodling around my circles and I was doing it. So it's something you could sort of have prepared in advance or you know, if you're traveling or going somewhere, you could have a few of these pages cut out and then you could just add the details to them later on. And again, I'm doing this as um, a series of four pages. You could certainly do this as just two. So you could have something behind one of these cut out pages and just decorate it that way. Um, you do not need to do the ultramost, which is what I'm doing here. Um, you, can, you can calm it down slightly. But you can see the more you do it, the faster you get because you're using the same patterns. Um, and sometimes you get inspired and come up with a new pattern. And that's okay. So you'll notice before I close the page and move on to the next bit, I am getting my heat gun onto it and drying it. Because I'm doing this all at once, I don't want to transfer white onto the other page. I love that really stark black um, in the dialogue. Obviously, I could repaint over it if it was a really an issue, but... Um, I like having it nice and as clean as possible, which is very unusual again for me if you follow my channel for a while. Um, but I think this sort of artwork really 
benefits from it. So just make sure that your paint pen is dry before you close a book because it will transfer if it's not 100% dry. It doesn't honestly take too long for the paint pen to dry, only a minute or two, but because again, I'm impatient, I want to keep going with this, um, I just got my heat gun out onto it to dry it off. So once I've finished all my pages, now I'm going to go in and paint the back pages. So for this I'm using the New Dilutions Shimmer Paints and oh my goodness these paints are amazing. They are so opaque and they are so shiny and so shimmery. So um, usually, you know, I don't need more paints. I was actually, you know, really restrained about this. I only bought a few colours that I really liked. I've only got those four at the moment. Um, but I have absolutely fallen in love with these paints. So they are something that I will certainly go and get again, I think, um, and have a look at the other colours. For me, I really love the opacity of them and the shininess of them. Um, you can just see the light reflecting off them and they're even better in person. So. Um, they're just something I've really enjoyed using. They look beautiful on the black paper, but I've used them on other colors as well and they look really good too. Um, so yeah, that's that's just my un unpaid for plug for these. Um, I wasn't 100% sure that I was gonna like them and I've just fallen in love with them. And I've been using them on a lot of pages. So because I really like them, I decided to use all four colors and um, I'm just painting out different sections and most things that I do, if I'm doing something similar to this, I will sort of repeat the colour three times on the page. It's just something that I don't have to think about. I've got it three places. Obviously on this bit I've got four because I had a little gap down the bottom as well. So again you can see I'm drying it. Because I want to have these sort of working together, I'm sort of flipping backwards and forwards between the two. The next stage that I'm doing is adding in some stenciling over the top. So I'm adding in some black again and this is some black gesso. So I've got this really matte black finish against this really, really shiny um, page and it just gives this beautiful effect. And again, you know, you don't have to do this step if you don't want it. You've got those, all those beautiful colours in the background. You might want to just leave them to shine but I just wanted to kind of tie all these pages together by having a little bit of black a little bit of white on each of the pages and then obviously this punch of color behind it and because those colors are so um, bright particularly against the black um, it just gives you such a great contrast so now I'm just going in around the outsides and outlining my stenciling I'm just going within the stenciling a little bit, so I'm leaving a tiny, tiny little border of black around. Um, again, just to give a different feel. And obviously, you know, if you were sick of doing this, you could just sort of do some doodling within those shapes and leave it as is, but I'm going to add more to this because it's me. So once I've finished doing all my um, doodling, I'm going to add some collage over the top of this as well um, and I'm going to be using the Dilusions collage sheets. Um, if you didn't have those obviously you could use pictures from magazines and or stamps whatever you've got but because I had these sort of sitting around um, I tend to cut them out as I'm sort of from watching TV or particularly from traveling. I was traveling recently and I just took a whole bunch of these sheets and just chopped them up when I was watching TV in the hotel room because it's easier to do than some other things. So I've got some different shapes. I've got the one with the mask. Trying to think about what will fit in, what will reflect off the page a little bit. Um, you can see I've sort of played with that yellow which I quite liked and then I've got the red. Um, I'm still not sure about the octopus. Then I've got that flower head. You can go, you can go nuts, sort of adding all the different bits and pieces. One thing that I was trying to do though is I was trying to find a piece that I could have an eye come through one of the um, squares on the page. Uh, that was just something I decided I wanted to do, sort of to frame it up. So when you had both double pages open, that the the eyes would sort of get caught um, or 
be seen really clearly. So you can see I've sort of gone back for that flower one because it fits into the top square really nicely. So you can sort of see me going backwards and forwards and flipping to make sure it's right. And I do that a lot, particularly when I'm doing sort of these interactive collage pages. I will continue to flip to see what it looks like from either side, if I'm happy with it. Um, if it doesn't quite work, where can I shift it so it does look better? So don't feel that you just have to work on one page at a time, um, particularly if they're pages that work together. Make sure you, you go through and flip and make sure it sort of feels right to you. Once I've finished, um, I'm now going in and adding some extra detail to my pieces of collage. Now again, this you don't need to do this. This is just something I like to do. Um, the collage sheets that I'm using from Di Reevely, she's already done this on her pages. She's already put some paint pen over, but sometimes I want to change the colour or I want to add extra detail. Because these are printed um, pieces of paper, and they're printed on a matte surface, the blacks are never going to be really true. Um, so you can see there I've outlined everything with a black pen again and you can see that black sort of really stands out against the background. It's, as I said, it's totally not necessary, it's just up to you, but it is a good way um, if you are interested in this style of artwork, particularly before you sort of get into your own magazines, um, collages, to have a go with a um, model beforehand. So I did that on both pages. I didn't show you the second one because you've seen me do it once. You don't need to see it again. <laughs> but what I decided I wanted to do was to have a quote on it. So I've stamped out these two quotes. I was not made to be subtle and I'm a voice, not an echo, both from the Dina Wakeley new release and from February. And I've cut the words into pieces. And the reason I've done this is because I want to actually feed them through these squares, so the squares act as a frame. So you can again see me playing around with the, the quotes so I can get them right. I'm actually doing it through one of the cutout pages so I can make sure it's really framed up the way I want it to be. And I'm doing the same on the, the other side as well. So <clears throat> um, I wasn't sure how I was going to get these two pages in. So you can see me sort of playing around till I'm happy that I wasn't you know going where I wanted it to so I've got that stuck up the top now and I was not made to be subtle going across the page and again you can see me flipping to see if does it look okay um, on its own does it look okay when it's got so here's the final pieces where you can see those eyes going through the quotes on it and how the quotes go down the page this is the second set I've done and this is using circles so you can use any shape diamonds or triangles would look really cool doing this too and again it's done exactly the same way so i hope this inspires you to have a go at doing some cutouts in your journals they're so much fun um, and check out denise remember her details in the um, description box below until next time bye for now